Hey guys, it's Tammy, and I'm sorry I didn't come with a video for you yesterday about keto on steroids. Um, my weigh-in, I will weigh in next week. Um, I've had some personal issues going on, not with myself. I'm fine. I'm healthy as a horse, it, helping out a friend. But anyways, today I want to talk about, um, I'm gaining weight on keto. Um, I've been keto for three months and I hit a three week stall. I'm not losing inches and I'm not losing pounds. I see this all the time, you guys, all the time. And my number one question I always ask, are you using a food scale? And nine out of 10 times the answer is no. Get a food scale. It keeps you pinpoint accurate with your calories because you do have to count calories on keto and I see that all the time too I don't count calories I'm just more laid back and watch my carbs that's great and then three months later they're saying help me I've hit a stall um, I've hit a plateau what should I do food scale do I, you have to, do you, bitch, bro, do you have to use this all the time? No, you do not. But if you're just starting out on keto and you don't know what portion control is, because trust me, when I weighed 361 pounds, I did not know what portion control was. The whole palm, fist, thumb thing. Yeah, I did not know what portion control was. I needed a food scale. Now, a couple of tips. One, get a digital food scale. They're like $10 to $15 on Amazon and at Walmart. Not a big deal. Best food appliance I, or kitchen appliance I have gotten. Another tip too, make sure that it takes AA and AAA batteries because sometimes while you're preparing your dinner and you're tracking, that battery will die. And that way you can just take it out of your TV remotes or your kids' toys or you may have some extra batteries laying in the drawer. So make sure it takes triple or double A batteries. If you use those watch batteries, sometimes when you go to the store, they are out of them. And now you're hunting all over for that battery. And it could take a couple of days. And then you're without your food scale for a couple of days. And then you wonder why you're gaining a little weight. Do you have to use this all the time? No, you do not. Um, I strongly suggest you use it for about the first two months in your journey so that way you know what four ounces of chicken breast look like. That way you know what a serving size, 85 grams of broccoli looks like. I will always have to use a food scale, whether I'm losing weight, maintaining my weight, or trying to build muscle. That way I am pinpoint with my calories. I can't stress that enough. Another thing to my heart failure peeps, it helps you keep track of your sodium levels too because sometimes there's more grams um, in a slice of bread and may say one slice of bread has say 100 milligrams of sodium but that's if it weighs 46 grams that slice of bread there was one time I weighed a slice of bread and it weighed 56 grams so what does that mean more sodium that way it can help you stay on point with your sodium intake. All right, you guys, make sure it's digital. Make sure it does grams and ounces. Get it from Walmart, 10 to $15. Make sure that it's AAA or AA batteries, and it will help you on your journey. I have never hit a plateau or a stall when I was using it on my 18 and a half month journey where I lost 171 pounds. I used it on my maintenance journey for over a year. And now recently keto on steroids, I use this food scale. All right, you guys, I will talk with you later. Have a great day.